Hey everyone, Ashley here. I thought I'd do a little um, video, something slightly different to normal. Um, I'm at my tennis club and I've just been filming some videos for local schools to try to get them active through lockdown. And the club is empty, so I thought I'd do a little video to give you a tour of the Avenue Tennis Club, the club that I work at, um, because you've probably seen me doing various videos on different courts, but actually you haven't seen the whole picture of the club. So yeah, this is the Avenue Lawn Tennis Club and I'm gonna take you around some of the courts. So first of all, this setup here is our artificial clay courts. Now this, these courts are where we do most of our coaching. We've got four courts there. Um, if you haven't seen artificial clay courts before, it's basically a carpet with a sand on top of it. It plays very similar to clay. However, the maintenance is much, much lower and it's one of the best surfaces for the for UK. In my opinion, I think it's incredible. You can play in any weather conditions you can play if it's raining if it's icy it actually gets grippier the wetter it gets in the heat of the summer it can be pretty slidey but i like that i like playing on clay courts um, but yeah there's the surface i'll give you a closer look at it so you can see there it's like a sand on top of carpet so yeah there's the first surface we've got four of those courts now I'll have, let's have a little wonder just walking down so while we're walking down to the synthetic grass courts you can see here we have beautiful lawns ready for the summer season um, we actually have 10 grass courts here in the summer the groundsmen have been working super hard during the winter period and getting the grass up to standard these courts are some of the best in the uk um, feedback we've had from you know various people that have played on these courts they absolutely love them we, we we've had um, wimbledon competitors come and, and train on them before wimbledon um, but yeah you can see with the sun shining they are amazing so right now we are in lockdown which is why the club is empty um, but in a couple of months time those courts are going to be open and ready for action so we've got 10 grass courts we've got four artificial clay and finally we've got these three which are down at the end take you on here we've got these three artificial or synthetic grass courts so kind of like astro a very kind of short cut astro let's have a look down lower you can see here it's got a kind of very small amount of sand on it you can do a little bit of sliding but again it's a great all-weather court and you can play in most conditions these get a tiny bit slippy slippier when they're wet but they're still playable for sure in the conditions we get in the uk so yeah i'm very lucky to be at a club like this really amazing lawns so you've got here, you can't see any markings yet because the courts aren't open. But like I said, in a couple of months time, the groundsmen will be painting the lines out on these 10 courts. We've got five here on this side and on the other side of the fence as well, we've got another five courts. So looking forward to those being open. If I turn around, you can see the clubhouse. That throughout COVID has been closed, unfortunately. So around a year now it's been closed for. Um, but in the clubhouse, you've got a bar upstairs, you've got a function room. So this kind of area here is where we've got a function room. Underneath, we've got a gym, I'll take you over there now. And we've got a lovely balcony that in the summer, you can have a drink on in the bar and uh, watch some of the matches that are going on. The club runs an ITF event in the summer for the ITF seniors. So there's lots of good tennis going on here on the grass in the summer. And we also host County Week, which hosts some of the best counties in the country and the best players in those counties competing against each other for a whole week. So really top level doubles. And um, this part of our club, I'm really proud of. So this is our hitting wall. Now I'll edit in a picture of the hitting wall before. I actually painted this with a friend of mine, Harry, who helped to design our Avenue logo. And we spent a couple of days painting. It was just a kind of horrible gray looking wall before. Um, but yeah, we painted it with our Avenue tennis branding and um, yeah, it looks much nicer. So I'm very proud of this, but this was, um, this was a couple of years back just to kind of make the club look and feel a bit more welcoming. 
This area here is where all the parents tend to sit and watch their kids playing while we're doing coaching on the courts behind us. And um, the groundsmen have been planting some flowers ready for the summer. And then yeah, in here is where we have our gym. So it's a small gym, it's got some cardio machines, um, some small low weights and resistance machines as well. And then more recently, the club's installed these wash basins outside for COVID. So we've got two of those, which means that when people come in through the gate, they can wash their hands before playing. And when they leave the courts, they'll also wash their hands on the way out as well. Oh, one more thing I haven't shown you actually. So this, it's like a shipping container. You can see there, this is where Paul, our stringer, works from. Um, he's actually the head stringer at Wimbledon, so very, very experienced stringer. There's our coaching program, some of the sessions that we run throughout the week. And then we'll have a little look into Paul's shop. So he's a stringer and he also runs a little pro shop. I might go a bit dark in here. Let's see. So yeah, you can see stringing set up. All the strings, Dominic Team's racket that he used at Wimbledon. This pretty cool. Where is it? There, you can see that was actually a massive billboard in the uh, in the London tube stations during Wimbledon. Paul was featuring on that, and um, yeah, some of the rackets he's selling, some of the other kit, some more rackets. I do a bit of work from the back desk. It's very untidy at the moment, and um, my slinger. But yeah, that is Paul's little shop that he works from. And um, hopefully in a few weeks time when the club reopens, we'll be back in action. We'll be back on the tennis courts and Paul will be back in the shop. But um, yeah, I thought while I was here, I'd give you a little tour of the club. Hope you enjoyed it. If, um, if you wanna see more of my videos when I get back to the club, I'll be able to make a lot more tutorials and get back on court and show you some tips and tricks. So feel free to subscribe to the channel if you wanna stay up to date with those. But hope to see you soon guys, take care.